Hey traders, uh, welcome to this video about the 1-2-3 reversal pattern or also known as the 1-2-3-4 reversal pattern uh, essentially it is one of the patterns of classical technical analysis and uh, it is very similar to the double tops and double bottoms pattern it consists of three points uh, with the fourth point being the trigger for an entry and uh, this is exactly why it is sometimes called one two three four uh, so uh, it is similar to the uh, double tops and double bottoms in that it consists of three or uh, four steps uh, basically uh, in the, the bearish case uh, let's take a look at this um, structure of the pattern which I have drawn it consists of one being the highest high within the pattern then the price uh, goes lower makes a low and starts to climb again uh, until it reaches another high and then starts to decline again. Uh, decline again. Uh, in the one, two, three pattern, the point three is always lower than point one in the bearish case, and it is always higher than point one in the bullish case. The entry is the breakout below the point two. Uh, in the bearish pattern, the two, uh, the point two is a low, and in the bullish case point two is a high once the price breaks out be, uh, above or below point two uh, then that's the trigger for our entry and here on this uh, euro yen for our time frame i uh, have uh, shown and uh, highlighted this pattern in action so you can see a real uh, life example of it uh, Basically, as we can see, uh, once the point two was taken out, the price continued lower. And for a target, you can take the distance between two and three uh, and project the distance from the breakout point. And that is your target uh, for this pattern. Same uh, in the bearish case and also the same in the bullish case. As you can see, in both of those cases, the targets were achieved. Finally, uh, uh, one thing to remember about this pattern is that it has to occur at the end of a trend since it's a reversal pattern it uh, There is no point if this pattern uh, occurs for example During a bearish trend then it wouldn't be a valid bearish one two three pattern like this For example or if the one two three pattern occurs uh, during an uptrend Then it wouldn't be a one two three bullish pattern. So that's uh, the one important aspect to remember about this uh, classical pattern so thank you for watching guys and uh, i will see you in our next video